Hello, new interns. We are back, and today we are going to be speaking to Cole Brown. Uh, Cole was re- relatively recently he was a marketing intern for Alt, uh, but everything about how he got the position, what he did in it, and what kind of a company they are will be revealed soon throughout the course of this interview. And I want to get started by asking Cole, you know. First of all, thanks for coming, and and how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, thanks, Sean. Doing great. How how about yourself? I'm I'm doing fantastic, and I'm actually really excited to learn more about, uh, you know, where you're from, and of course, all about your role. So, you know, first first question I want to pose to you is, just so we can understand a little bit more about you, where Cole, where where are you from? What's what's your background like? So I uh, grew up in Marin County. I went to Marin Catholic High School and ended up finding a home here at Elon in North Carolina, which is where I am currently. Um, it's about, geographically speaking, in between Duke UNC and Wake Forest, mm-hmm. uh, about an hour west of Raleigh. Um, and I'm a senior here. I had a marketing internship, as you said, with Alt, a uh, tech technology company in the trading card industry last summer. And... Um, yeah, cool. just looking for uh, the next step here. Sweet, and and you mentioned, sorry, if you could mention uh, your your school name again, and mm-hmm. I know you just said your major, but one one more time, I I missed it, and then when you when your expected grad date is? Of course, yeah. So I'm at Elon University. I'm a marketing major and a finance minor. Uh, within the marketing major, I have an emphasis in digital marketing and analytics, and I'm expected to graduate in May 2023, so this year. Awesome, getting close. So, mm-hmm. and, and you know, it's always fun to know, Cole, what people do in their free time. How do they enjoy the time they have away from academics or do they do any projects? So I want to ask you, um, what kind of hobbies do you enjoy or, or how do you tend to spend your free time? Um, well, completely for fun. If it's a nice day, I love uh, going golfing with my buddies. I'm also awesome. part of a uh, social fraternity here on campus, Sigma Phi Epsilon, so uh, for the past year, I was actually president of that organization, but now uh, my term has ended. I'm taking a back seat just as a member for the last spring semester I'm on campus. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously, we have social events going on with, with the organization as well. Um, that takes up a lot of time. Yeah. Hey, that's a solid uh, thing to have on your resume, president of, of a fraternity. That's awesome. Definitely. And Thank you. So, so, Cole, I'm hoping if you can kind of recap for us, what was your your internship title, your, your recent one, and what was the company, what was their name, and, and roughly speaking, what were they? What kind of Right. Company? So I, I was a marketing intern for a relatively new startup called ALT, A-L-T in all caps, um, mm-hmm. and that's really short for alternative assets, which is what the platform itself helps out customers with. Um, okay. It's in the trading card industry, but expanding to all alternative assets uh, nearly in the future with... Uh, other collectors' items like watches, sneakers, um, and, and, and other uh, items as well. Um, mm-hmm. But as, as a marketing intern, I was helping them out with their social media, uh, projects going on in the background for future financial services that they wanted to launch, which I can get more into if you'd like, um, and also uh, a lot of their brand marketing and, and, and analytics, uh, tracking how well the content does on social media, what our websites are doing, how the customers track through uh, platforms, and, and uh, how, to, how to better improve the customer journey throughout our platform. That's awesome. And I'm going to end up grilling you a little bit on all of that uh, in a moment here. But first, I want to find out kind of how you were able to come into that position. So were you, for, for this position at all, this internship, did you apply on a job site or did you have a, you know, a referral from a friend or did Alt actually reach out to you? How, how did mm-hmm. you kind of come to find yeah, it? Yeah, so my internship search process was a lot of cold applying and seeing if I had any mutual connections through LinkedIn. This mm-hmm. was uh, not that way. I actually was referred by a friend um, to uh, an exec in the company that was then introducing me to... Uh, head of the marketing teams that I was able to have a couple of conversations with, and that's more so how the interview process went. Awesome. And did you, now I'm curious, during, it it was clearly a period where you were searching for an opportunity. How many, you know, 
in addition to the referral, how many applications had had you already thrown out around that time before getting the all internship? Um, it's a good question. I will admit it was a hectic time, a lot of stress surrounding uh, whether or not I was going to have a uh, you know eight to ten weeks to focus on an internship over the summer. So the number isn't crystal clear for me, but uh, I would say ten plus, maybe to fi- to fifteen or twenty max yeah. um, before before finding uh, the referral that ended up working out the rest of the way. So it was a solid batch, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. And as for the referral, now you don't if it's um, if it's something that you'd prefer to keep more private for the sake of, of your friend. But I, I wanted to know if this was someone you knew through like a student organization or was it a personal kind of a family contact? Yeah, it was a personal family contact, but there were definitely conversations to be had that were introductory to make sure that I was, uh, you know, qualified for whatever needs that the company had. Yeah, sure. And and what was that like, you know, the onboarding process? So, so obviously it wasn't an instant just because they referred you, you got in. They have to make sure you're competent, right? What, mm-hmm. what was kind of the process? Was there a phone interview? Was there an in-person interview with, with any people from Alt? How did the onboarding mm-hmm. process go? So it was uh, entirely remote. I had a few phone calls um, that were video, video interviews. Um, but the company itself is actually an entirely remote company. So they have employees um, from San Francisco to New York, uh, Florida, like Miami even. Um, oh, wow. So there, there's there's people scattered all over the place, and it just wouldn't make sense for me to go to where they're actually headquartered in New York um, and yeah. have a uh, – they have office space, but it's just not really used uh, entirely. So they find it much more efficient uh, to have employees everywhere. And so that's, um, you know, I was able to interview while on the East Coast in North Carolina. And still, when I was working back home in San Francisco, Marin County, uh, oh. be, be based off of West Coast hours. Yeah, that's actually remote. There's definitely the pros and cons, but I tend to like remote uh, stuff a little bit more. And when you did interview, was it with... Uh, was it like directly at the face of the sun with with some of the alt executives or may, maybe some of the HR managers? Who who was it that you had to kind of speak to? Right. So the, my the guy that ended up being my direct manager and my direct report um, was the second step of uh, the interview process and uh, second and final. Um, so I had a conversation with him and we were able to kind of vet through a few things and, and see if, if if his needs were were met with. My, my background. So um, I guess you could call it exec, um, but yeah, that's sure. about how it yeah. went. And now this was some time ago. So I know that I'm asking you questions where your memory is probably a little bit hazy on some of these things, but I, I want to push a little bit more and, and kind of ask from your point of view, what was it that, that really got you hired and, and made the, this person you interviewed with essentially say, yes, he, he is qualified. So referral aside, right? Like what, um, what about you got you that role? Do you, do you think? Yeah, that's a good question. I would say, you know, a lot of people are studying marketing these days and they have that head title on their resume saying marketing major. Um, Mm -hmm. something that I'm fortunate enough to have offered at Elon university is an emphasis or maybe at some other places it's considered a focus. Um, but essentially what that means for me, I'm a marketing analytics, uh, and, or excuse me, uh, digital marketing and analytics emphasis, which means under the umbrella of marketing, I'm taking classes that are eligible, um, to satisfy that emphasis. And so instead of taking maybe, uh, uh, international marketing, I'll take marketing analytics and, uh, you know, website SEO. Um, yeah. and so I think that's maybe what set me apart from other marketing applicants that they might've had, um, mm-hmm. because they did need a more, a more so analytical focused, uh, intern. Uh, and, yeah. uh, you know, I, I'd like to think that that was a, um, a worthwhile academic experience to prepare me for the summer. Yeah. So, so being more specified in terms of your, your major and your, your focuses, and then also having it be more uh, explicitly analytical, that was a definitely contributing factor, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, and, and congrats to, to getting that internship. You mentioned it was a, a new company or a startup, but they have offices 
like all over the place, as you just mentioned. How how new or how recent is is this company? Yeah, apologies. I, I'll clarify. They only have one office in New York, which is um, not used frequently. Everyone else is just based remotely oh, in God, other God. cities. So, yeah, the, it right. was it was started in 2020, though. To answer your question about the startup. Oh, great. Okay, yeah, they're they're new. They are a startup. That's that is so much fun. Mm-hmm. Now, as for what you do in your position, real quick, were you working? So, I'm assuming it was full time. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. And uh, were you working with other a cohort of interns or directly under a supervision of, of like a manager? Just directly under the supervision of a manager. Um, there okay. was another intern within the company, I believe, on the customer service side, um, but we didn't mm-hmm. really interact in our day to day. Right. Right. Now. You already, uh, towards the beginning, mentioned kind of a brief overview of what you had done. I'm hoping you can give us that same overview. Uh, essentially, what were your duties? What, what were the, the, the sections that you helped out with? You mentioned like social media, brand marketing. Could you give us mm-hmm. that overview one more time? Of course, yeah. So I really started out the first couple of weeks trying to get in a rhythm of how the company operated. And um, something that I thought was pretty cool was my manager encouraged me to look at every aspect of the day to day and the weekly operations and um, with open eyes, try to see if anything could be more efficient or improved. Um, Mm -hmm. And so in doing that, I was able to reach out to a couple team members that I had met within the first week and offered if I could be of service to their specific role. Um, Mm -hmm. For example, there was a team member who leads a podcast on Twitter spaces. Um, and I offered to help out with timestamping certain areas of the conversation so that he can convert it into social media content, um, or, or mm-hmm. just little blurbs of the conversation that could be highlighted, um, in any, in any case. Um, <clears throat> that was kind of an area where I proved my, uh, efficiency, I guess you could call it and, and, an uh, ability to, to, to work on a project with somebody else. Um, and so I guess in gaining trust of, uh, the company and the team, I was assigned various projects, I, I guess, majority of, uh, my work consisting of a, uh, competitive analysis project of, of one of our main competitors in the, in the industry. Um, we were as, as an, uh, as alt, uh, as the company, um, working on a new financial service product, which is now live, um, the lending service, which actually uses trading cards as collateral. And we wanted to see how our competitors use that in the industry already. Um, so I compiled a, a document with, um, you know, a lot of suggestions on how to gain a competitive advantage and and better serve our customers once that service was live. Um, Uh and so I was working with a bunch of different teams in, in, the, in that process, the lending team, the card experts, uh, the own marketing team and everything like that, which was really interesting. Um, I also uh, participated in an alts uh, brand redesign, which was really cool. Um, they actually kind of changed their whole look online and, and on their platform. So I was working wow. with an external ad agency to, to track the uh, customer impacts of uh, you know, how positive, uh, that was received. Um, and it was very, so that, that was a lot of fun. Um, and kind of learning the, the ins and outs of, of different types of analytical sides of Google and, um, Twitter and and Instagram and things of that sort. Um, and so I would say that that was definitely the bulk of the internship, but obviously everyone, uh, experiencing their experiencing their first professional experiences, they have uh, you know uh, very, very tedious internship tasks that you don't quite highlight on a resume or a cover letter or anything like that. So th- there is definitely some of that going on as well. Okay, right. You're saying in addition to all of that, of course, there was the the typical clerical office work that that needs to get done sometimes by the interns. That was a lot, <laughs> Cole. That's awesome. You you. Um, and first of all, so when I first heard you talk about Alt as as a it's a startup that's trying to expand past the you know uh, trading cards as collateral, but but that concept I've never heard of that 
ever before, which is why mm-hmm. I'm assuming they're a leader in this field. They created it. That is such mm-hmm. a cool idea. Yeah, um, yeah not it's pretty incredible. I, yeah, yeah. And now I've, I was looking down a lot because I was trying to track everything you're saying. I have a few questions that I want to ask um, a little bit more about. So you, you ramped up by, you, you ramped up your internship by essentially seeing where people could use help and, uh, you know, unsolicited, just, just approaching people and they were generally receptive of that help. Right. And so you were able to get mm-hmm. a lot of experience. Okay, great. And then you transition into a more project heavy role with your competitive analysis project. So that was, I don't want to misinterpret what you were saying, but that involved different things. One of the main parts being forming a, a document uh, with other people to showcase your alt's competitive advantage, but to who? Who is that for? Who is it made for in, in, as an internal um Right. It was an internal document for our lending team to use um, just so that they could create the best possible product for our customers um, with Mm -hmm. industry competitors in mind. Um, But yes, we did compare to external competitors. And what was that document? Uh, So I kind of want to understand more about your contribution to that document. Um, Was there a lot of I'm assuming you had to do a lot of research on the on the company and how it functions, but really, what were some things that you ended up putting on there? Was there a lot of kind of facts about the product or or something else? What would go on a, a document like that? We learned about the processes of the uh, competitor company uh, by actually, you know, uh, tangibly going through what their lending service would be like. Um, mm-hmm. So experiencing their uh, customer service and, and how they interacted with the customer um, and, and things like that and kind of mapping out uh, how their that company's representatives interacted um, and, and supported the, the process of, of taking out a loan with trading cards so that we were able mm-hmm. to uh, learn and develop our own system accordingly. So that competitor company was that a hype? Did you make an? Were you researching like your own? Did you create an avatar company, a hypothetical competitor, or is there actually someone in the space that you found? Uh, there's actually somebody in the space that we found oh, okay. doing it. Yeah, Got it. yeah. And for the brand redesign that you were doing, um, what kind of things were you looking for in, in Google and, and Twitter analytics, these, these customer testimonials to, to measure kind of, mm-hmm. what was it measuring? Um, well, as you can imagine, obviously sports trading cards goes quite uh, hand in hand with live uh, current day updates and news of, of each season that's going on. So we tried to stay relevant as much as possible. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of our tests consisted of whether or not videos on an Instagram post do better than photos or a carousel of images that the, that the viewer has to swipe through. Um, and so kind of comparing to see which one gets the most views and, and, and traction there. Um, there were employee testimonials of their favorite cards that we had, um, Mm -hmm. things of that sort, just to kind of highlight if a player had, for example, in the NBA dropped a 50 point game. Um, you would most likely see still today um, a little uh, showcase of that person's cards that the that all the actual company has stored in their vault um, and ready to trade on the platform. So um, it, it's really hand in hand with 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 the current the current updates of each sport and and keeping those yeah. fans entertained and, and and updated with the potential investment of a trading card. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Mm-hmm. To be honest with you. Yeah. yeah uh, well, thanks for sharing all that information, Cole. That I actually feel like I learned something and about a company that I, I hadn't known before. So I want to move into just some final thoughts you might have about this internship you had. And I want to ask, what was the, the most valuable thing that you think you learned while working for Alt? Um, great question. So I guess I would first take this question in the direction of the fact that it was a remote internship 
and I had to just mm-hmm. try extra hard to get a useful experience out of that professional atmosphere. Um, the company itself, I thought, did exceptionally well for being entirely remote. We met as a full company during town halls once a week and got to see everybody's face and all the hardworking people that contribute to such a hectic startup environment were right then and there, which was really cool for me to see. Um, and it, that just meant that I had to work extra hard to um, get answers from my manager and teammates. If we were working on a project, you know, you couldn't just walk into their office. You had to figure out yeah. uh, efficient ways to communicate, whether it be Slack, email, or, or just pinging them over the phone. So um, that was an adjustment, uh, definitely, um, especially when considering uh, my manager was working on the East Coast and I was on the West Coast. So keeping the, the time zones in mind was important as well. Um, but then I would also say just as a young professional, we're all trying to learn as much as possible, kind of be a sponge in our environment. And Mm -hmm. the, the experience that I told you about within the first couple of weeks where my manager gave me the freedom to kind of probe at any process that I thought might need some help. Um, I thought Mm -hmm. was really, really cool, um, to, to trust me, trust the new kid, not trust the new intern who's still in college to, um, you really lend a helping hand. And I think yeah. the fact that I, that I heard him say that and then acted upon it so many times these days, I feel like I hear, um, stories of people, um, at least hearing an offer and then not following through on it. But in this case I did, and I kind of earned my stripes, I guess you could say, um, the, the person that I ended up helping out, uh, shouted me out during one of those town hall meetings to the entire company. And everyone's like looking over there, zoom shoulder like who's this kid you know so um i feel like that was a really positive experience for me to to show that um you know i actually did help out in in some to some capacity so um, that was really really helpful and something that i'll take with me as i hopefully start a new job full time um coming up this summer that's hey that is super super cool yeah and and that is a valuable uh experience for sure Mm-hmm. Do you think this internship did it solidify a career path in your mind or a specific job title? Um, did it narrow down your job search? Did it push you away from marketing? Kind of how did this affect your overall career direction? Yeah, um, I would say definitely encouraged me to still pursue marketing. I would say even more excited about. Uh, marketing analytics roles. I just found Mm -hmm. the numbers to be such a fascinating way to interpret the data and provide actionable solutions for the team. Um, In in one way that I would say the internship narrowed my my professional outlook is that I know for a fact that I want to be either in-person or hybrid when I start a full-time position. Um, I want to avoid the remote environment just because I place so much value on being in person and being able to get your hands dirty and just, you know, uh, brush shoulders with, with, with a big time exec who's been working there for 20 plus years and be able to learn from those types of people, especially when you're young. Um, I think it's just so important to gain that experience. So that if I were to think of anything that I learned, um, you know, you know, cold, cold cut, then I, I would go with that being wanting to be in person. Great. Great. And, you know, last question, Cole, but a very important one. Is there, do you have any quick advice, good advice for people, students who are interested in getting a role like the one you had or just advice about internships in general? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, as as I earlier mentioned, there there was a lot of trial and error when I was applying for internships. And I'm going through the same process now for full-time jobs, but with a little bit more, um, I guess, advice and and experience to do better this time around. Um, The main thing that I would say is, uh, and and you can easily see this on uh, online these days as well, is if you're applying for a job, it's the chances are so slim that you're going to be able to, um, you know, get 
accepted for an interview, move through the process, and then be eventually offered a job if you just apply cold through their through their application process. Um, you have to be able to connect with people within the company, introduce yourself beforehand, and then hopefully gain a referral um, to aid you into that, you know, to get your foot in the door and uh, allow yourself to uh, be presented either via Zoom face-to-face or in person, which is even better. Um, Mm. If you have to lean on your family connections, then lean on it. Um, Most of the time, people are there to help you. If you're an inquisitive young professional looking to ask questions about their career, people love to talk about what they do and will help anyone if they share a connection with you. So to give you an example, Mm -hmm. every place that I'm applying to now for full-time jobs in companies, um, I'm reaching out to all the Elon alumni, uh, whether I know them or not. That wow. they'll I'll, they'll receive a message from me on LinkedIn, uh, just a quick 300 character limit message uh, to connect, and and 90 percent of the time since I share that Elon experience with them, they'll uh, respond to help me out. It's been really successful, and I've been super grateful to everybody that um, has has been helping me out so far for this full time job search. I'm still I'm still uh, you know I'm still chugging along to get my first. Uh, first offer here and hopefully it comes along soon but it's a long uh long work in process and i'm just excited uh for when that day comes because i know uh you know last year's internship and, and the work that i've put in so far for the job search will will hopefully uh all be worth it well I'm, I'm sure it will pay off and i really really hope it does cole because you clearly learned a lot at, at your previous internship um and you've been putting in a lot of effort for applying And you also just gave us a ton of good information. I was about to ask you, what percentage of those, let's say, cold connections, so to speak, were successful? And you just said about 90%. That's highly successful. So, yeah, people definitely need to lean in on their, on any connections they have to, uh, that they can use at their disposal. And and what you said, your advice, part of it, um, that the cold, the cold application process, you know, we all do it, but it's very difficult to get a job. Um, that advice has been, you know, echoed across a bunch of other interns I've I've interviewed. That that really reaching out is what'll distinguish distinguish you from the rest. So, great advice, Cole. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, if anyone is interested in reaching out to Cole, asking him about his experience or or just knowing more, we will be leaving at least one of his links, most likely probably his LinkedIn, like we normally do. And if there's anything else he wants to share, he'll, he'll um, he can definitely do that. But for now, I'm going to wrap this up, and I want to say, Cole, thank you, thank you so much for coming out, sharing your experience, taking the time. I really enjoyed it, and I hope to stay connected. Of course, thank you, Sean. Appreciate the time. No problem. You take care. All right. Bye.